Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today we are talking about the 2019 Major League Baseball Home Run Derby. Now this year the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game are both being hosted at Progressive Field, home of the Cleveland Indians. We have a lot to look forward to as eight really powerful guys uh, participating this year in the Home Run Derby. Every year I look forward to these two events. I'm never disappointed. I think this year will be the exact same way. I mean... Every at bat or every, I guess, participant will put on a clinic at the plate. I'm sure of it in the home run derby. I don't think really you can count anyone out at this point. Everyone is, you know, matched up fairly well. And if you guys haven't seen the players yet, we're going to talk about the players, the bracket, some of their stats, my predictions, and we're going to hype up the home run derby, which is now just a couple of days away. So here we go. I mean, in this number one seed, this is not a surprise at all. He is leading the league with 31 home runs so far in the first half of the regular season. Christian Yelich of the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, this guy was amazing towards the end of last year. This year, he has kept up that momentum. And like I said, 31 home runs. Now, we're only halfway done. So, if he can exactly duplicate his first half, hit 31 in the first and 31 in the second, that's 62-plus home runs. Uh, or in that general area. And if he makes the postseason with the Brewers, we'll see a lot of power from this guy. We'll see some more at-bats with him. And I'm sure, again, he will not disappoint in the home run derby or just in the season at all. I mean, he's still got a really high batting average. His OPS is really high. A bunch of RBIs. Christian Yelich will probably be the NL MVP this year. I mean, he's looking to be the favorite and potentially the favorite of the home run derby. So he's the number one seed, and facing him in the number eight seed, the young rookie Vlad Guerrero Jr. Now, I'm not going to kind of wipe away Vlad Jr. I'm not going to sweep his name under the carpet. I think he has a very good shot up against Yelich. Will he win? Maybe not necessarily, but I think he can stay close. If you guys are on social media at all, you'll probably see uh, a couple videos lurking around of Vlad Jr. taking batting practice the other day at Router Center. He hit some baseballs super high and super far. He broke a hotel window at Router Center because they have that hotel out in the outfit that you can stay in and uh, watch the game through the window. And like this guy has really good power. And I think a lot of people are a little disappointed with his home run total so far. Uh, when the 2019 season, he's only got eight. But, I mean, you gotta go ahead and think that this guy can at least compete. He'll put his name out there, and he's gonna try to get something done. I mean, his father won the home run derby back in 2007, I do believe, Vlad Guerrero Sr., and um, I want to see a lot of home runs. So, we're gonna talk about my predictions after I completely read the bracket, but I think you guys kind of know where I'm gonna go uh, with that uh, section of the bracket here. Now, the two guys that were um, most recently introduced are Alex Bregman and Jock Peterson. Now, these guys are both um, announced Wednesday night at seven, uh, sorry, 10 p.m. Eastern time. And I was not there to uh, watch it live, but Alex Bregman participated last year and in the 2015 Home Run Derby, Jock Peterson was the runner up against uh, Todd Frazier. He got second place in the Home Run Derby. So uh, that is the, uh, I, I believe it's the five and the six seed uh, players right there. So now going to the other side of the bracket, we have a huge rookie so far, especially in New York, but just in the league itself. I think he could be the National League Rookie of the Year. Pete Alonso, this guy has set some Mets records, and I mean, he's looking to be a young rookie who could potentially win the home run derby in just a couple days from now. But I really like this guy's power. He's got something to him like you look at him you don't think he's gonna hit a bunch of home runs at a time but no he does and he gets the ball out sometimes he can get it out really quickly with his exit velo i'm excited to see him uh participate and the guy he's facing is carlos santana now, santana is the hometown hero here uh he is a cleveland indian he is used to progressive field and the dimensions to right field and to left field so i think he's going to know where to try to put the balls and where to get them uh to land Will he beat Pete Alonso? We'll talk about that when I make my predictions here. And then the last two guys we're going to see in the home run derby, Josh Bell and Ronald Acuna Jr. Now, both guys have been known to put on a show. Josh Bell just the other day hit three home runs in one game. I mean, his totals for 2019 have been insane. If Christian Yelich wasn't doing so good, he could be the NL MVP. But there's a lot going on. So again, eight really big names, and you cannot count anyone out yet. 
like Bregman has a good chance. Guerrero Jr. has a good chance. Santana, Acuna Jr., though they might be some of the, like, um, overlooked players, I think they can kind of surprise us all here. So let's look at the players' stats in 2019 now. Stat-wise, I mean, home run total and their first home run so far. We're not going to go into the full batting average, RBIs, stolen bases, etc. So just uh, what we're going to really need to know, like the basis, the first layer of statistics for the home run derby that are most important. So for Christian Yelich, you have 31 home runs, and his longest of 2019 is 462 feet. Pete Alonso, the young rookie for the Mets, 28 dingers, and his longest of the year and of his career so far is 458 feet. Josh Bell has 26, and he was able to hit one 474 feet. That is going to be the longest home run total distance-wise he has accumulated so far this season. And then Bregman, 23 home runs, 440 feet was his longest distance this season. Jock Peterson, 20 home runs, 445 feet on his longest home run. Acuna Jr. has hit one 466 feet, and he's totaled 20 home runs so far in this first half of the season. Carlos Santana has 19 home runs and has hit one 447 feet. Again, that's the longest for him so far in 2019. And Vlad Jr., 8 home runs and a 451-foot distance on his longest uh, in 2019. So, again, the home run total for Vlad Jr. is a little underwhelming, but once we see him in the home run derby, I think he will uh, really maybe change some people's minds on the power that he actually has because there's a lot there and that bad. I mean, when he gets a hold on, that thing's gone for sure. So now we're going to talk about my predictions here uh, for the bracket in the home run derby. So you have the number one versus number eight, Yelich versus Vlad Jr. Again, I don't think we can underestimate Vlad Jr. here. I think he'll put up a really good show. But you got to go with the obvious choice here, and I hate to do this, but Christian Yelich, 31 home runs. This guy can really hit the ball, a lot of power. I'm not really going to go against him here. I think Christian Yelich is going to beat out Vlad, and he's going to advance. So you have Alex Bregman and Jock Peterson. Bregman uh, has some experience in last year's home run derby. Jock Peterson, as I mentioned, was the runner-up a couple years back. I think Jock Peterson will actually go ahead and uh, beat out Bregman. Here he is hitting second, so he'll be last against Bregman. He'll have um, a little more, I think, relaxation time and some time to kind of think and like strategize and get himself mentally ready. And he's a lefty, and in progressive field, that right field porch is a little closer than left field. So Bregman, as a right-handed guy trying to go to left field, I would assume, might have a little more distance he needs to reach in order to get some balls out of the park. So now you have Pete Alonso and Carlos Santana. Um, I think, wait, Jock Peterson, I do believe, is going to win that part of the bracket. I don't know if I mentioned that. My apologies. So, so far on the left side of the bracket, we have Yelich and Peterson. They're going to be advancing to the semifinals. So now we have Fiat Alonso and Carlos Santana, and I think Santana is going to do well. The hometown hero, I mean, last year Bryce Harper won uh, with the Washington Nationals at Nationals Park, and Carlos Santana could be only the third player to win the home run derby at his home field. I don't think he's going to advance against Pete Alonso. I think Alonso, 28 home runs, he's got huge biceps and he can really I mean that has really nothing to do with it it's the power behind it so as long as he's got a good batting stance and can really follow through he'll be fine and so will Carlos Santana but I think Pete Alonso is going to go ahead and win this one out here now I don't know how much further he's going to get from that point on but I think Alonso will at least advance to the second round and the final round you have Josh Bell and Ronald Acuna Jr. now both have crazy power but Josh Bell is having his best season ever right now especially home run-wise and RBI-wise. This guy's just on fire. I can't really go against him here, but again, I think it's going to be close. Acuna Jr., Josh Bell, it could be anyone. I think Josh is going to go ahead and pull through with it here. The Pittsburgh Pirates, and he'll advance facing Pete Alonso in the semifinals on the second half of the bracket. So advancing, you have Christian Yell, Jack Peterson, Pete Alonso, and Josh Bell, in my opinion. Now, coming down to Yelich and Peterson, I think it's going to be Christian Yelich. I hate to do that because I'm um, picking the number one seed. He has the most home runs, so it's kind of the obvious choice. But we've seen the power and what he's capable of. I think he's just going to pull through. I think he's going to be able to beat out Jock Peterson, even though Peterson will be hitting second. Might have that slight advantage. Both their lefties, so both have, you know, that same short porch out there in right field, not as short as Yankee Stadium, but it's relatively closer to home plate. But Christian Yelich... 
you know, potential NL MVP, the guy say bombs this year. I'm going to go with him. He'll advance to the final rounds. Now, Pete Alonso and Josh Bell, although I really want to see Pete Alonso and Vlad Jr. face off in the finals, I don't think that's going to happen. I already said Vlad Jr. will probably be out after the first round. And Pete Alonso, I don't think he'll really push past the second. Josh Bell has had some amazing at-bats this year, and he's hit multi-home run games a couple of times, I do believe, in 2019. He's just showing power that has never been unleashed by him before. And I think he's really going to be energized for the summer on Derby. I think he's going to pull out and beat Alonso. I think it'll be close, though. Like, all these are going to be very close brackets here. I don't really have much to say other than that to kind of prove my point as to why Josh Bell's going to win. Um, I would love to see Pete Alonso prove me wrong. Actually, any of these guys can go ahead and prove me wrong. I'd love to see them go ahead and advance. And maybe someone takes me by surprise and wins it that I'm not expecting. But I think Josh Bell and Christian Yelts will be in the final bracket and in the final round of the home run derby now christian yelich and josh bell i don't know what to do here i think i'm going to go with the obvious christian yelich for this i know last year bryce harper was the obvious choice i think for most people myself included and he ended up winning it and i think it's going to be a similar case with christian yelich i'm not going to go against them i'm going to pick christian yelich and if josh bell wins or if someone else wins congratulations to them they all deserve these eight guys with tremendous power, I just think Christian Yelich is going to come out on top and be crowned the Home Run Derby champion uh, for 2019. So guys, let me know down below in the comment section who you think is going to win the Home Run Derby and if you have similar bracket predictions or if you have some different uh, views here and there. And if you do have different views, let me know what they are. We'll talk about it, discuss it, maybe pick my brain a little bit, change my mind even. So the Home Run Derby, I believe it's Monday, July 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you guys want to tune in. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.